Today I want to quickly show you how to install uh, packages in uh, Emacs. Now there are a couple of ways of doing it. If you are let us say interested in um, installing some package, you can always download the files and modify the .emacs file, configuration file. But there is also one more way. If you type in, so you need to press meta x or on Mac, escape x. And if you type in a list packages, and if you press enter, it will give you the list of packages. Of course, it depends on, uh, I believe you have to set up the repository, but it is already there. So you can take a look at all these uh, packages that are available that uh, you can basically install if you want. So there are plenty of things that you can do with uh, with Emacs and uh, there is a package for, for, for that. Uh, again, you don't have to use the package manager, the built-in Emacs package manager. But let us say if you if you want to install something, let us say you're, inter you're interested in uh, installing a package like uh, YTDL, I have no idea. You can take a look at, uh, oh, so it says Emacs interface for YouTube downloads. So if you want to install it, all you need to do is uh, press I. So of course you need to be uh, at the right place. And by the way, you can always do control S and search. So let us say you want to search for uh, YTDL. So it will uh, take you to the right package listing. So for installing, press I. So when you have to install multiple pack packages, you can press I for each one of the package. And to actually start the installation, you can uh, simply press the X key and then it will install the package for you. Now, I'll not do it right now, but I'll show you what uh, ha what will happen. So when you take a look at your uh, Emacs file, it will basically, so first of all, it will download the, the, download the files that are required. So let us say you have your emacs.d folder. So it will download the package here in this particular directory. And uh, for example, uh, Earlier today, I installed a request. I also installed uh, this uh, Emacs, uh, not Emacs, but this org gcal for syncing the Google, Google Calendar with my org mode entries. So it will download the files for you and it will do it for you. And at the same time, it will also update your .emacs file. So when I, so when you basically lo look at the file, it will basically create an entry here for uh, making sure that particular package or whatever feature it is bringing. If your .emx file has to be updated, maybe there is a new mode, it will do the updations in the, in the file for you. So this is something that you can uh, take a look at in case you're wondering how to install packages. Earlier, I, I mean, I started using this uh, recently, but earlier I used to install, let us say if I have to install a new mode or maybe something that I need to, down, to, to basically do in my Emacs or org mode, I used to download it manually, copy the files in the .emacs.d folder and update my .emacs file. But now using uh, the package manager, I let package manager manage it for me. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today. Thank you very much.